Take the next five seconds to like this video before we get right into the content. All right, guys, so we know that the Halloween event is coming for season three Apex Legends, and we know a lot of the content that has already been leaked for it. But what we did not expect is for somebody to figure out a goofy exploit, basically, that allows you to see the entire event and what kind of event we're looking at. And this is, in fact, going to be a collection event. So if you remember the Iron Crown collection, it was more about money and unlocking items than anything else. It was, so we do have some changes that were done to the overall prospect of earning loot, but I don't think uh, it's going to be that great still. These skins are way better by leaps and bounds. But if you're new, smash down that subscribe button and then ring the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. Now, I'm not going to waste any time, and I'm going to show you what Respawn has given to us right now. And you can see the legendary skins directly from Respawn in all their glory. As you can see, the textures are all there. We got the crazy clown, we got Frankenstein, and we've got the Crypto Dracula. Now, I personally love all three of these skins, and I don't really play any of the characters, except for I dabble with Caustic here and there. Now, I have been playing with Crypto, obviously, from Season 3. But the Crypto Dracula is by far one of my favorite skins in any game I think I've ever seen. The Frankenstein jib, honestly, would probably make me play Gibraltar. Just like, you know. And that one right there, I mean, who wouldn't want the killer clown? It's just, come on. It's caustic as a killer clown. It makes way too much sense. They also did, in fact, give us a look at some of the weapon skins a little bit closer. So you can see this kind of Dracula ish look yeah I, I mean i don't even know what to really call it but it kind of reminds me of like dracula's castle kind of thing going on there and that's basically it now what we did also get is a real look at the challenges that are coming to the fight or fright event and they are kind of interesting you're going to get a really simple one and we'll bring them up real quick if you want to pause it go ahead and look at it but basically you're going to get a music pack for logging in if you kill one shadow in shadow fall you'll get a tier one badge. If you kill 50 shadows in shadow fall, you'll get the tier two badge. And if you escape on a drop ship 25 times, you will get the tier three badge. So again, this is like an infected game type. Now 25, kill 25 loot bin spiders or zombies in shadow fall to get an, the ghostly graveyard R301 skin. Kill 50 legends in shadow fall to get the wildfire octane skin. Win is both a legend and a shadow in Shadowfall to get the de Devotion Weapon Skin Nocturnal Elegance and complete 20 daily challenges to get the Haymaker Ultimator Skin. Now there has been some changes as you can see here also to the event packs. They're now going to have non-event items in them and well, that's something that like, you know, people were probably really annoyed with paying so much extra for an event item. And you know what I mean? Like, that was kind of ridiculous. Now, some of the major key changes are, obviously, we have the limited time mode coming. That's completely different. We have event-exclusive challenges with free earnable cosmetics, including two weapon skins that are legendaries. 24 event-limited premium cosmetics that you can earn that will lead to, what? The Lifeline Heirloom, which is some badass drumsticks and looks way better than the leaked, like, whatever awful textured images that were leaked honestly you couldn't even tell what it was so there's been a lot of stuff going on and there has been some huge changes actually to the crafting of the event items and purchasing of the event items so the 24 items that are premium can actually be unlocked for direct purchase with apex coins now that's the way we remember from iron crown Another way is to directly unlock them with crafting materials and random unlock with event Apex packs. Additionally, the currency in these packs has been replaced with non-event loot drops, yielding more loot overall. So we're not getting those funky loot drops from before, and that is awesome. Lifeline heirloom set preview. Uh, again, we showed that off. The new lifeline, you got to unlock that by getting all 24 things and then the lifeline heirloom is actually free so it's free if you can get all 24 items no matter how you get them if you get them with crafting materials event packs whatever any way you can get them you will actually be able to get the lifeline heirloom for free so probably still going to be about 200 bucks on average for most people but 
I'm I'm honestly stoked about this uh you know this weird game mode that's kind of it's an infected game mode clearly escaping on the drop ship you it does sound like you're fighting against each other but you're also fighting against the shadows and then like just surviving to the end and getting on the ship might be like the goal I don't really know it sounds interesting but as you can tell by the challenges you know a lot of these things are really just the PVE mode that was being explained by the theories of leaked information now the problem with the theories coming from these leak artists is most of them have no idea about game development or where a game would go with such things uh or seemingly no actual computer skill because adding an entire pve mode when there's like no ai script in the game really other than talking at random points and stuff like that is just immeasurably stupid to think would ever happen um but having something like this where there's like random zombies in the world and PBE elements to the game world, i.e. challenges, is really, really normal. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Tell me what you guys think if you've made it this far by dropping me a comment and letting me know what you think about this event. Are you going to be playing and grinding out and getting as much loot as you can? And if so, or actually, if not, which one of the skins are you most hoping to get out of the event? But yeah, guys, this is going to wrap it up for this video. So I'm just going to throw two more up on the screen that you can check out if you feel so inclined. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, have a good one.